Okay, so this is uh, uh, week 5 and the number 2, section B. So I already solved the shape for these two, which is octahedral and uh, the bent, and that's uh, in the sec uh, part A of this, uh, the previous exercise problem. So now I'm, I'm going to focus on this, the, the phosphorus tetrachloride and phosphorus oxide. Those are the two. So let's look at the where the phosphorus no, is no, located, and that's where they are. Same column as nitrogen, which is number five. So first, uh, once again, this is that they want to know, that based on the VASPER theory, what is the shape. And the shape comes from the understanding the electron domain, electron group, geometry, and then we only considering the sh bond to define the shape. So let's look at the P, and it comes from the PCl4, so PCl4 plus. So P is a 5, chlorine is 7, and the 1 less electron, so that's what I can say, and there are 4 of them. So that means 5 electrons, and this is uh, 28 electrons. This is means one less electrons, right? So that's a double negative is a plus one, right? So that's what it is. So by doing so, you got 32 electrons to start with. And then what you can do is now we can, without uh, considering the complex three-dimensional shape, we just focus on the connectivity as we did with the uh, uh, Lewis structures. So we're just going to put four chlorine surrounding the phosphorus, and we are going to make bonds. One, two, three, four. So four means eight electron in the bond. You use them up already. So now you ended up getting 24 electrons. And then let's focus on the satisfying the octet rule on the surrounding atom, connecting to the central atom. So chlorine, which is a halogen, they need six lone pair electrons, three lone pairs, and so therefore they satisfy. So each one is essentially six electrons, and there are four of them, that's a 24 electrons. So you use them up already, and there's nothing electron lone pairs to the central P. And if you're looking at the P, as there are four more charges now, uh, is P means five, lone pair, there's no lone pairs on the uh, P atoms, and half of how many bonds? Four bonds surrounding the P, so there's an eight electron in the bonding. Five minus four, there's a plus one. So this one is a plus one, four more charges. And the chlorine is actually, you have discussed it before, it's not negative, it's actually zero. There's no four more charges on chlorine, on four of them, and then this is what the, the Lewis structure looks like, and that's why overall charges are plus one, as is shown up here. Okay. So once you figure this one out, let's start to count the number of electron groups, electron domains. How many lone pairs uh, the P has? None. None, no lone pairs. How many bonds? Four bond domains, right? So whether single bond, double bond, we don't care as long as it's uh, the bond do like domains and there are four of them. So, th so four is a number of electron group, electron domains. So that means a geometry. You have four electron domain and then this is what we call tetrahedral, TD, tetrahedral. Tetrahedral uh, geometry looks like a shape uh, that is, let me use a lighter color, so let's do that. So it looks like pyramid, but it's a basal plane is triangle. So this is like, like that. So everything is symmetric, up and down. The four faces, everything has a triangle faces. And then what we're going to put uh, the phosphorus in the center, and the chlorine is in each corners, like this. 
and they are being connected. So now this is connected and when you put the, the simple solid line that means on the plane, let's say they are on the plane, and this one is now sticking out of the plane. This is moving away from the plane. Okay. So by doing so, I can see that P with this, with this wedge, and this dotted wedge, chlorine, 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 chlorine. Okay. So I mean, just to make you to con mean sure, you see this triangle here. That's the you see the triangle they are showing up. This is a, really the forming the same triangle, and then we're, we are trying. I'm trying to visualize the same thing. At any rate, so this is the what's the sh what has the bond is being arranged. So the geometry is uh, tetrahedral, but now the shape wise, same thing tetrahedral because it's all four bonds. So everything counts, so it's a tetrahedral. So this one is tetrahedral shape. So, okay, so let's look at the uh, second problem up here, which is the same drill. So P is, once again, is a 5, and oxygen means 6 electrons, there are 4 of them, and then 3 electrons more. That's a minus 3 charges. So that means 5. That means 24, that means 3, you add them together, that's the 32 electrons. And the, what, do you, what do you do? You put the P in the middle, oxygen, 4 oxygens. This is a very similar kind of drill that we have done before. You, if you look up there, the P with a chlorine, 4 of them, so it's very similar. So we are going to form 4 bonds, that's the a, that's a same, same thing. It's a, is actually C32, there's a minus 8. That means an, uh, you have a 24 electrons. And then I think it's the same same thing. The oxygen also, just like on halogen, in the beginning, we can put six lone pair electrons with a single bond, although this one has a developed uh, negative one former charges. That's okay. Uh, we, at least it satisfies the octet rule. So uh, we are putting six electrons on, on the oxygen atom, and there are four of them. So I use up 24 electrons. I think I'm done. So there's no, no more electron that, that I can play with. And, and then it is the same thing. The, I can Actually, I can copy down the same formula that I used before with up, showing up here. Right. Once again, the former charges of P here is 5 minus uh, how many lone pair electrons? None. Half of how many bonds? 4. So there's 8 electron in the bond. So then make it 5 minus 4, which is a plus 1. So this is a plus 1 former charges. Overall, it's like a minus 4 plus 1, which is a minus 3 charges. That's why it's, uh, it has a minus three charges shown up there, right? So that's uh, minus three charges, as you can see, and this is a minus three charges right there. And then the one last thing that we can do is uh, because of the P, which is located in here, that is N is three, they can have an expanded octet rule, so they can have more than eight electrons. So I'm going to use, uh, let's see, use this one. This lone pair electron can be shared in a form of a double bond and the former charges of oxygen is gone and former charges of phosphorus is actually gone. So by doing so, uh, what you ended up having is phosphorus with double bond with two electrons. The rest of them, let me use a, a little different color as before. So these are stays the same as they are. What about the former charges? This is all gone. Only thing that retained the former charges is three oxygens that shown up here. So so far, uh, so this overall, it has a minus three uh, charges. So
exactly. Okay. That's uh, more the more likely the form. And then let's count the number of electron uh, groups, domains. We have one bond, two bonds, three bonds, and four bond group. Double bond being counted as a one bond group, as an electron group, electron domain. So you only count as a four. So there are four. Uh, you, are, you are saying that electron group-wise number, zero lone pairs, four bond groups. Okay. Uh, so there are four uh, bond groups, and so there are four uh, electron groups, and that means a tetrahedral. Same thing as before, so it's a tetrahedral. So now what I'm doing now here is the same thing. Where you, you can almost copy the same thing up, up, up and down. This is a tetrahedral. And then what you can do is now you can put of phosphorus in the middle and then oxygen, 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 oxygen and then you can put double bonds on the top this one there this one is not on the same plane so it's sticking out and moving away from the plane that's another one and then that's the how it is looks like So that's uh, how does it looks like. Okay, so it has uh, all this uh, minus charge, minus charge, minus charge. So what's the shape? After all this uh, calculation and complex uh, consideration of electron, this is a geometry. What's the shape? We only count the bonds, but these are the, all the bonds. Once again, the bonds, double bond, single bond, it doesn't matter. And you got four and uh, four bonds, four bonds, and this, and then the, the arrangement. So it's the same thing as tetrahedral. Okay. So what's the answer here? Tetrahedral shape. And uh, the shape looks like here is a one that's shape looks like here already on what is on there and this one is i think is a plus one and there's a plus charges up there okay so this is how you contrast between these two and uh, you can see that the chlorine uh, and an oxygen there's awful similarity except for oxygen uh, when they have a single bond with three lone pairs they developed uh, one uh, formal charges and they can easily form into a double bond and, and then become neutral if needed. Okay, so thank you for your attention.